walk like this, talk like this, look like this, you could never uh-uh. Bad red bone from the south, round round, hitting licks with a yellow huh. Bitch so bad when I walk past, nigga sing my name a cappella. Huh. Oh my god, I think my nail just poked a hole in my shirt. Hopefully you guys can see it. And if y'all couldn't have seen it, I just brought attention to it. So, I'm not even going to edit that out. We're just going to roll with it. Hey love, so as you guys can see by the title below, this is going to be a hair tutorial, you guys. Finally, you guys have been asking me to do a hair tutorial on how I curl and slay my hair for the holidays and things like that. Which is not just for the holidays. I wear my hair like this pretty much all the time because it's like my go-to look. And you guys know I love jet black hair because it's just so sexy and classy to me. And it goes with all the makeup looks that you can wear. You don't have to worry about doing minimal looks or doing really simple looks because you have pink hair, green hair, whatever. So... I like to wear black hair and blue black hair and like dark violent hair that looks almost dark dark purple but it looks black too but you can only see it in the sun but those are the colors I like to do now y'all no I only rock with her hair company I love her hair company I've been wearing their hair for years you guys have been asking me to give y'all the tea and give y'all the plug and that is what I'm gonna do for y'all today okay I'm going to show you guys how the hair straighten. I'm also going to show you guys how the hair curl. I'm going to show you guys also how I curl my hair, okay? Also, before I get started, I know I'm going to get asked. I'm not a makeup guru. I'm not a makeup artist. I don't want to be a part of that community. That's just me, you guys. You guys are always asking me on Snapchat to do makeup tutorials. Why don't I be a beauty guru, you guys? That's just not my thing. That's just, that's not for me. But I will tell you guys every now and then, like, what's on my face, what lashes I use, which I always show on Snapchat. That's why I say, if you're not following me on Snapchat, go ahead and do that, what you're waiting for. Today, I'm going to tell you guys what is on my lips because it's almost empty. So, on my lips, I have Anastasia. This is not being sponsored. I'm just telling y'all the tea. What's on my lips? I know y'all gonna ask me in the comments. So I use only two, and I like to like put two on my lips because it just makes it pop more. So I have two from Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills, however you guys said. This is in Naked and Ashton. Ashton is around the lips and naked is in the inside to make it a little lighter. So, like I said, this is naked lipstick liquid lipstick and this is ashton so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with this tutorial now i did have just a little hair left over this little bitty piece i kind of folded it so it looks just like this this is the pattern of the hair once you wash it and condition it this is how it looks. now you can definitely keep your hair like this and just put some mousse on it and go on right out the door honey but if it rains and things like that you're still good to go because it is body weight so you can wear it straight curl or just in the body wave pattern now i have on the bunny this is how i sleep at night it is what it is i have all different colors of bunnies i'm going to go ahead and just take the bunny off how the hair looks when i take it off now i could easily just leave home and just comb this hair out but i'm not going to do that if you guys see any like i don't know look this is how it looks right now but we're gonna slay this look in a whole minute as far as my leave out i do use these products right here which is the same thing it is a rapid shine foaming lotion and this is what i wear when i wear my real hair because i do have real long natural hair and also you guys i am not natural but i do Perm my hair two to three times a year and that's pretty much it because my hair is super super thick and I like to just keep it braided down and just keep it moving so these are the only two products that I use I do highly recommend this if you are natural if you are wearing any leave out I do recommend this brand like I said it's not sponsored I'm just showing you guys what I use is the most important thing when you are doing your hair honey when you're having big curls even tight curl this is the comb you want to use when you are doing your hair 
This is the comb you don't want to use. This is what you don't want to use to comb out your hair. You only use this to comb out your leave out. That's it. This comb right here. This is a negative. Don't use this to comb out your hair. You're going to take out all your hair. Use these two combs right here. That's it. So, I don't put product on my hair, anything like that. Like I said, I only use argan oil, which you guys, here it is right here. I only use it on my leave out. And I use these front irons if I want to front iron my hair. I use these one curls this size. This may be like a one inch and a half. I use these when I want to do like a tighter curl. And then I use these when and these is baby bliss pro honey. I use these. These are probably I don't even know the sizes, but these are like the biggest ones they have. These are the ones I'm gonna use most likely to do my entire head today. We're gonna to just see. Go ahead and start combing out this hair so you guys can see. And you guys can see there is no hair left in this comb. Even though I'm combing it out. There's no hair. There's one little piece right there. You can barely see it. So I want to show you guys how this hair straightens first. And I'm going to use the comb that you're not supposed to use. So I can show you guys how I would front iron my hair. So I'll go all the way up to the top. And then I'll just straighten it. And as I'm straightening it, I'll comb it at the same time. Well, I just want to show you guys that this hair does front iron. If someone wanted to buy this hair and flat iron it. And I don't have them up super, super high. But that's how it looks flat iron, you guys. Just wanted to let you guys know. This is on, it can go all the way up to 450. I actually have it on 325. So, of course, if I put it up higher, um, it would straighten even more. But this is straight enough for me. This is the way I like it. Just like this. Okay? So, for the people who is asking me on Snapchat, does this hair flat iron and does it stay flat iron throughout the day? Yes, it does. It does not draw up or anything like that. So, that's pretty much how I would rock my hair flat iron. So, I have a deep side part as you guys can see. So, I'm going to go ahead and start curling my hair. I'm just going to start from the back and work my way up to the front. That's just how I do it. And I'm going to show you guys how I curl my hair. So, first thing I do, you guys, I'm going to be looking over here because I need to watch myself if I'm looking over here versus looking at you guys because clearly I need to see. The thing I do is pull my hair toward the front and then I just comb it out. Like I said, I could just leave home like this, but I want more curls. So when I curl my hair, I like to take pieces about this size and then I'll just either pin this hair up or throw it to the back. My comb here and just comb through it one more time. I'm gonna use these curlers to curl my entire head. And because this hair is so long, this is 28 inches and 26 inches. I'm not sure if I said that or not. But I like to curl my hair really slow. As you guys can see, you probably can see the smoke. Because this curling iron don't play no jokes. Yeah, you can see how hot it is right there. And then I curl it all the way down into this piece. And then that's how it looks. And that's what you want. You don't want them to be too tight because I want them to be really loose. I'm going to speed this part up of me curling my hair because I'm sure you guys get exactly how I'm going to curl my hair. Sometimes when I get closer up to the top, I like to pin the top just so you can see the layers I have curled in the hair. And that's how I curl my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up.
So I put the hair toward the back so you guys can see. Like this is the curl side and this is the side I still have to curl. So you guys can see the difference in how it looks when it's curled and when it's not. So let's get to curling. And I always curl my hair going backwards towards the back way of my face. I don't like curls going to the front of my face. And this side, I always do it a little looser. Only because I know it's going to be thrown to the back or to the side. So it don't matter to me. Honestly. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is how the curls turn out. I'm going to go ahead and just run my fingers through the hair so you guys can see it. This is how it looks. So pretty. I love some jet black hair. And it only took one time for me to dye the hair black. I didn't use a jet black. I actually used like a soft black. So it turned out good enough for me. So that's how that side looks. And I'm going to take them out in a minute. They're about to fall out anyway. So this is how it looks. This is how I begin like my big curls. And y'all always ask me. And then sometimes I'll just, you know, take my hand and make it a little bigger. Like so. Big girl, big hair, honey, okay? <laughs> this is how it looks. Now I'll take the back, bring it toward the front. Girl. Yes, like that. I'll fix the leave out in a minute. I like to pull these down a little bit. Like that. I'm pretty much done with my hair. I like to take the curlers and just go over the top of my leave out. I do not flat iron the top of my leave out, you guys, simply because I don't want to put too, too much heat on it. And I actually unplug the curlers because I do not like heat damage on my real hair. So that's just something I like to do. I don't know if you guys want to do, but I unplug my curlers so the heat won't be as hot because if you guys noticed, when I was curling my hair, you could see how hot the curlers were. So, I like to take this, it's still hot, okay? It's hot where you can't touch it, so it's hot enough. To take the flat irons and just go over my leave out. And what keeps my hair straight, you guys, is the foam and stuff that I showed you guys earlier. And I don't put anything on my leave out but heat. I don't put anything on my edges. I don't do nothing. I don't do all the baby hairs. And I keep that. That's for the young people, okay? So this is pretty much how my hair looks. And like I said, all I do is take this and I just spray the top. And that's it. So this is how it looks. Like I said, if you want it to be bigger, you can. Just pull the curls out more. But yeah, this is pretty much... 
it for me this is my go-to look so if I want to throw it to the back I can like that then and that's that I hope you guys did enjoy my hair tutorial hope you guys slay for Thanksgiving honey because I know I am so, yes, that's pretty much it. All the information you need to purchase this hair from her hair company will be linked down in the description below. And like I said, y'all go let them know that your girl needs to be their brand ambassadors. And then I could be rocking all different types of hairs, all different types of colors, just doing the thing when it comes to the hair. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will have a giveaway going on in an upcoming video. Their video will probably be linked down below by the time you guys see this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Snapchat always asks for the tea and the dibs on this hair. Snapchat always see it first. Snapchat seen it first. So, if you're not following me, go ahead and follow your girl there. Definitely go ahead and follow her hair company on Instagram so you guys can see all all the different textures of hair they have different styles that ladies have rocked with their hair so you guys can get some ideas because that's where i go all the time looking at different hairstyles and colors and things like that so like i said don't forget to go to her hair company and let them know your girl fucks with them and wants to be their brand ambassador honey i'm speaking into existence honey so with that being said i love you guys so so much and until next time you guys Bye. I had to hop off the porch and go get it. I went to pick up the torch and then lit it. They tried to tell me I can't, but I did it. When I pull up, bitches look like they shit it. I had to start from the motherfucking bottom.